This is the first time I've ever sat through like any kind of traditional Orthodox Jewish lecture or education of any kind. I own a furniture store, new and used furniture, and I go to school for massage therapy. The rabbi in my community sent me a pamphlet on Beis Chana. I was really attracted to it because of the learning. I really, and I heard that Rabbi Friedman was really good, so I wanted to go hear him speak. I actually converted to Judaism. I love Hashem, and like I've always been religious in my own mind. Like I've always prayed at night when I go to bed. I've always saw like the God in everything, but I didn't have any structure with that. I didn't have anywhere to put that. I come from a secular world. You know, women don't hang out together. They don't like sit around and talk about beautiful things. It's really wonderful learning from woman to woman because they're sharing the same experience you are. So that's pretty nice. In the beginning for me, from hearing other opinions from other people who were pushed away from religion, being a firm woman was like, oh, that's sexist, which is absolutely ridiculous because it just shows that we're stuck in a world that's based upon physical appearance and physical things, and it's so much different than that. And being modest is really, really special um, because it's your essence, not your essence. You know what I mean? It's not your looks, it's your spirit. It's your soul. If you can't quiet down your mind, then you, you don't leave any space for anything to come in, anything new. So if you're always bop, 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 and going and going and your mind is full, there's no room. And you, you're not gonna hear the things that come in because you're just too, there's too much ruckus. You can't hear over the noise. So it's really good because you come here, you sleep here for the first night, you ground yourself out, and then your ears are open and your, your soul is like, quieted down so you can hear. So I, I like that aspect of it. And I think that any woman who is aware of herself would like that. You know, I mean, even if you're not aware of yourself, you will be by the time you leave. <laughs> Rabbi Friedman has like this way of making this really balanced energy within the room. So your hearing becomes really clear and you can really hear and understand what he's saying. You believe what he's saying, like it makes total complete sense within your essence. But like the Kabbalah and the mysticism into it, like it's not just the physical, it's the spiritual. And combining them together and the tree of knowledge, like the Adam and Eve story, I've never heard it like that ever. Putting it, it changed the tone in the way you read the Torah. That's, that's amazing to me. I've never looked at it like that and I got a lot from that. And I'll definitely come back. This is a lifetime thing.